नमस्कार वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ द इंक हैप्पीनेस टुडे वी हैव अ वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग स्टोरी बिकॉज वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ पेन दैट्स नॉट ओनली वन ऑफ द पेन्स दैट्स क्लोजेस्ट टू माई हार्ट बट ऑल्सो बिकॉज इट्स एन आईकॉन इन इट सेल्फ इट्स इट्स इफ Uh, i mean ever there is a history of a fountain pens written this pen will get into any any damn list anywhere in the world of any time now incidentally this is the only pen which is i mean which i have heard i'm not sure i've not seen it with my eyes but i have heard that it's the only pen to be featured in the moma which is the metropolitan uh you know museum of uh, modern art uh in new york and uh, it's the pen i mean it's the pen and i okay i've written about it uh, in my blog many times in the past you can read them but uh, and it is a very of course a very uh, uh, a pen that's very close to my heart but we are going to talk about it for a different reason for, for a reason uh, i mean let without getting into the controversies you know uh, jin hao the chinese guys have come up with a copy of this pen so what i did is uh, i just ordered a, a box from amazon so uh, the copy and i have the original here with me so what i'll do is i'll show you these two pens and uh, at a later date instead of me writing with the pens and talking about it i will take you to uh, a very senior journalist who uh, is also a lifetime fountain pen user and the aficionado and who is a uh, uh, you know who uses this pen who's been using this pen for close to a decade now and we'll give him the jin hao and ask him to write and uh, show you that this thing this is to bring in more uh, you know uh, uh, more people this is to cut the monotony and things like that now but before anything else let's talk about yes i mean you must have guessed it by now i'm talking about the lamy 2k the lamy 2000 this is the iconic pen it's uh the before i show you the pen let me tell you a couple of things about lamy about couple of things about this pen this pen had uh, you know uh, was born the same year that i was born in 1966 this was this pen was made of macrolon macrolon then was a space age polymer and uh, i mean a, a interesting amount of tidbit is that macrolon is also the material with which the lego bricks are made so this is that pen number 1 number 2 this pen is perhaps the most well known example of bauhaus uh you know uh form of uh, we call it architecture or uh, bauhaus which essentially means form follows function you know nothing in this pen is there just to add uh, you know irrelevant details or attractions to the pen everything in this pen is for aimed to enhance the function of this pen the writability of this pen the usability of this pen the pleasure of writing the engineering excellence of this pen so this is bauhaus the third important thing that i must tell you about this pen is that again uh, if you ask me i cannot prove it but i have heard people say and very uh, i mean expert people say this that this is in terms of design 
sheer design this is uh, you know uh, an eternal kind of design in the sense that uh, this is one of the three things whose designs have never changed since they were introduced number 1 is the atlanta green coca cola bottle number 2 is the porsche car i mean one particular uh, this thing of the car uh, and number 3 is this pen before we go on further let me show you some things let me point out certain things i don't know whether it will be uh, possible for you to see uh, uh, in the video you know in this pen it's lamy is written here lamy is you know is written here number 2 germany is written inside the clip if you can see i don't know whether it's possible or not possible for you to see in the video but uh, if you ever uh, are fortunate enough to lay your hand in one of these pens you will see that there's germany written inside number 2 number 3 this pen is so damn well made that you don't know i mean you cannot see it i mean even i cannot see it from here but the fact that this is a piston filler pen and there is a contraption here which opens it's so well made that you can't even feel the you know the cut or the perforation or whatever you may call it so that's number 3 this is a piston filler pen and this has a hooded nib this has a hooded nib now so much for the lamy 2000 uh, i i don't want to extend this any further because you know i can go on talking about this particular pen and uh, this is very close to my heart and this is one of my most favorite pens like i told you but let us now take a look at the posier as at the uh, the jinhao pen which i have just bought from amazon and as you can see i i don't know do they write the amounts here amount in what yeah this is 570 rupees only this is the bill anyway so this is the jinhao 80 or whatever they call it so and let me show you this pen uh, it comes in that that typical uh, jinhao plastic uh, uh, cylindrical uh, uh, you know uh, cover that they have and this is the pen uh, this is the pen number 1 there's no lamy written here i mean naturally there's no they, they haven't even written china inside there is no this big uh, this thing because this is a why is this pen inked anyway this is a you know a converter cartridge pen can you see that this this pen was already inked and uh, they have sent it uh, so this is a converter cartridge pen and uh, this is not of course macrolon this is some plastic there is a what i can say is that there is a very uh, distant kind of uh, you know uh, thing which i mean i i'm going to what i'm going to do now is a sacrilege as far as i am concerned but i'm going to do it uh, nevertheless i'm going to show you this pens together you know this is the lamy and this is the uh, your uh, jinhao pen so these are the two pens i'll open the this is how different they look from chalk and cheese uh, as you can see there's no silver uh, uh, you know gripping section here and uh, the lamy also incidentally has a ink window here they this doesn't have an ink window because this is uh, this is a converter cartridge pen and uh, this is a piston filler so this is the lamy and this is the jinhao 
so i mean uh, i think we will stop it at that because uh, anything going beyond this and talking about this two pens or even uh, comparing one comparing a god uh, with a lowly mortal and that too of the most despicable kind of lives is not correct i won't go any farther i know there are people who love uh, jin hao pens i know there are people who believe that this is good value for money that's a very expensive pen uh, compared to this of course uh, because to me uh, to me i don't really consider that an expensive pen because that's priceless to me so i'm i'm not bothered about the money but uh, i'm uh, this is a much cheaper version it looks the same but uh, you know will i carry it in my pocket i love all pens i will have no compulsion about not writing with this pen just because i love that pen what i'm trying to say is that is kind of gods and this is kind of human and uh, that's it i mean they've done it they're not calling it a copy they're uh, doing it there was another pen called caco before this but uh, there was a problem with caco it used to chip here so that's why i am i have a couple of caco pens the similar pens because i i bought them just to check uh, how good copies they are because uh, you know initially some of the mobla copies that i have bought uh, of um, uh, mobla replicas in uh, thailand i i still have them now. they are almost 30 years old now and they write beautifully but the thing is this is okay this is a like i uh, call these pe pens these pieces tribute pens because it's like uh, jin hao paying tribute to a lamy it's nothing more than that this is a tribute and as a tribute it's a good pen uh, i mean though i have not written with it as you've seen i've just unpacked it we'll write and uh, we'll uh, you know add it in uh, this video uh, in uh, as we go forward but that for that we'll have to shoot it again now as of now i will bid adieu thank you